Quantitative Research Definition This approach focuses on quantifying relationships, behaviors, or phenomena. It often seeks to establish patterns and predict outcomes using statistical analysis. Characteristics Uses numerical data. Aims for objectivity and generalizability. Often involves large sample sizes. Methods Surveys, experiments, longitudinal studies, and correlational studies. Example a survey measuring the relationship between study habits and academic performance among college students, where responses are analyzed statistically to find correlations. Qualitative research. Definition. This approach seeks to understand the deeper meanings and interpretations of human behavior, experiences, and social contexts. It emphasizes the richness of data and the subjective nature of human experience. Characteristics. Uses non-numerical data texts, interviews, observations. Focuses on context and complexity. Typically involves smaller, more focused samples. Methods. Case studies, ethnography, grounded theory, and narrative analysis. Example. Conducting in-depth interviews with teachers to explore their experiences and perceptions of online education during the pandemic, aiming to uncover themes related to effectiveness and challenges. Mixed methods research. Definition. This approach integrates both quantitative and qualitative methods to leverage the strengths of each and provide a fuller understanding of the research question. Characteristics. Combines numerical and non-numerical data. Allows for triangulation of data, enhancing validity. Facilitates a more comprehensive exploration of research problems. Methods. Sequential explanatory design, concurrent triangulation design, and embedded design. Example. A study that first surveys students to gather quantitative data on their study habits and then conducts interviews to gain qualitative insights into their motivations and challenges related to those habits. Summary. Choosing the appropriate research approach depends on the research questions, objectives, and the nature of the phenomenon being studied. Each approach has its strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these can help in designing effective research strategies. You said. Each with arguments features. Chat GPT said. Chat GPT. Certainly. Here's a detailed comparison of quantitative, qualitative, and mixed methods research, highlighting their features along with arguments supporting each approach. Quantitative research. Features. Numerical data. Collects data in numerical form, which can be measured and analyzed statistically. Objective measurement. Aims for objectivity, reducing researcher bias through standardized instruments, e.g., surveys. Generalizability. Results are often generalizable to larger populations due to the use of random sampling. Statistical analysis. Employs various statistical techniques, e.g., regression analysis, ANOVA, to test hypotheses and establish relationships. Clear hypotheses. Often starts with a clear hypothesis to be tested. Arguments. Precision and reliability. Numerical data allows for precise measurement, making results more reliable. Scalability. Large sample sizes enable researchers to identify trends and make predictions applicable to broader populations. Control of variables. Experimental designs help control confounding variables, providing clearer causal inferences. Qualitative research. Features. Non-numerical data. Involves data such as interviews, texts, and observations that capture rich, descriptive information. Subjective understanding. Emphasizes understanding the subjective experiences and meanings that individuals attach to phenomena. Contextual depth. Focuses on the context surrounding social phenomena, providing a more holistic understanding. Flexible design. Research design can evolve as data collection progresses, allowing for exploration of emerging themes. Smaller samples. Typically involve smaller, more targeted samples, allowing for in-depth exploration. Arguments. Rich detail. Provides a deeper understanding of complex human experiences that quantitative data may overlook. Contextual insight. Helps researchers grasp the social and cultural contexts influencing behaviors and attitudes. Flexibility. The open-ended nature of qualitative research allows for unexpected findings and new directions in inquiry. Mixed methods research. Features. Combination of approaches. Integrates both quantitative and qualitative. Methods to provide a comprehensive view. Triangulation. Uses multiple methods to corroborate findings, enhancing validity and reliability.
Sequential or concurrent design can be conducted sequentially one after the other or concurrently at the same time depending on research goals. Complementary insights. Quantitative data can quantify trends, while qualitative data can explain the why behind those trends. Flexible framework. Allows researchers to use the best approach for each part of their research question. Arguments. Comprehensive understanding. Combines the strengths of both qualitative and quantitative approaches, leading to richer insights. Validation of findings. Triangulation enhances the credibility of results by cross-verifying data from different sources. Adaptability. The ability to adapt research methods in response to findings provides a more nuanced understanding of complex issues. Summary. Each research approach offers unique strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for different types of research questions and contexts. Researchers should carefully consider their objectives, the nature of the phenomenon being studied, and the resources available when selecting an approach. By understanding the features and arguments for each, researchers can design studies that effectively address their research goals. You said. Strength and weakness. Chat GPT said. Chat GPT. Here's a summary of the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative, qualitative, and mixed methods research approaches. Quantitative research. Strengths. Objectivity. Provides unbiased results through standardized data collection methods. Generalizability. Results can often be applied to larger populations due to the use of random sampling and large sample sizes. Statistical analysis. Allows for sophisticated statistical analyses, enabling researchers to test hypotheses and establish causal relationships. Clear comparisons. Facilitates straightforward comparisons between different groups or conditions. Time efficiency. Data collection and analysis can be quicker, especially with the use of surveys and existing datasets. Weaknesses. Limited depth. May overlook the complexity of human behavior and the meanings individuals attach to their experiences. Context neglect. Often does not consider the contextual factors that influence behaviors or attitudes. Potential for oversimplification. Reducing complex phenomena to numbers may oversimplify important aspects. Fixed framework. Rigid research design may not allow for adjustments based on emerging findings or unexpected insights. Potential for bias in instrument design. Poorly designed instruments can lead to misleading results. Qualitative research. Strengths. Rich, detailed data. Provides in-depth insights into participants' thoughts, feelings, and motivations. Contextual understanding. Captures the social and cultural contexts that influence behavior, offering a more holistic view. Flexibility. Research design can adapt to emerging themes, allowing for exploration of unexpected findings. Subjective perspectives. Values participants' subjective experiences, making it useful for understanding complex social phenomena. Engagement. Can foster a deeper engagement with participants, building rapport and trust. Weaknesses. Limited generalizability. Findings are often context-specific and may not be applicable to broader populations. Subjectivity. Researcher bias can influence data collection and interpretation, affecting validity. Time-consuming. Data collection and analysis can be labor-intensive, requiring significant time and resources. Complex analysis. Analyzing qualitative data can be complex and may lack clear guidelines, leading to varied interpretations. Challenges in replication. The subjective nature of qualitative research can make it difficult to replicate studies. Mixed methods research. Strengths. Comprehensive insights. Combines the strengths of both quantitative and qualitative approaches for a richer understanding. Triangulation. Validates findings through multiple methods, enhancing credibility and robustness. Flexibility in design. Offers a flexible framework that can adapt to different research questions and contexts. Addressing limitations can mitigate the weaknesses of each approach by providing a fuller picture of the research problem. Complex problem solving, particularly useful for addressing complex research questions that require multiple perspectives. Weaknesses, resource intensive, requires more time, funding, and expertise to design and implement effectively. Integration challenges, integrating qualitative and quantitative data can be challenging and may lead to confusion if not done carefully. Complexity in analysis. Data analysis can be more complicated due to the need to handle different types of data. Potential for conflicting results. 
Findings from quantitative and qualitative data may contradict each other, complicating interpretation. Requires expertise in both methods. Researchers must be proficient in both qualitative and quantitative methods, which can be a limitation for some. Summary. Each research approach has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of method should align with the research questions, objectives, and the nature of the phenomenon being studied. Understanding these factors can help researchers select the most appropriate approach for their studies. You said. Elements of each. Chat GPT said. Chat GPT. Here are the key elements of quantitative, qualitative, and mixed methods research approaches, detailing the components that typically characterize each approach. Quantitative research. Key elements. Research question. Clearly defined and often framed as a hypothesis that can be tested. Variables. Independent variables. Factors manipulated or varied to observe their effect. Dependent variables. Outcomes measured to assess the impact of independent variables. Sampling. Random sampling. Participants are selected randomly to enhance generalizability. Sample size typically larger to ensure statistical validity. Data collection methods. Surveys questionnaires. Structured tools to gather numerical data. Experiments. Controlled studies to determine cause and effect relationships. Observational studies. Quantitative observations, often with checklists or rating scales. Data analysis. Statistical techniques. Use of software, e.g., SPSS, R to perform analyses, e.g., t-tests, ANOVA, regression. Descriptive statistics. Summarize data through means, medians, and modes. Inferential statistics. Draw conclusions and make predictions based on sample data. Qualitative research. Key elements. Research question. Open-ended questions aimed at exploring experiences, meanings, and perceptions. Participants. Purposeful sampling. Selecting participants based on specific characteristics relevant to the research question. Smaller sample size. Focus on depth over breadth. Data collection methods. Interviews. In-depth conversations, structured or semi-structured, to gather rich, narrative data. Focus groups. Group discussions that explore shared experiences and perceptions. Observations. Detailed field notes from natural settings understand context and behavior. Documents texts. Analysis of existing materials, e.g., diaries, reports to extract themes. Data analysis. Thematic analysis. Identifying patterns and themes from the data. Content analysis. Systematically categorizing textual information. Grounded theory. Developing theories grounded in the data through. Iterative analysis. Narrative analysis. Exploring stories and personal accounts to understand how people make sense of their experiences. Mixed methods research. Key elements. Research questions. Combines quantitative and qualitative questions to provide a comprehensive understanding. Design. Sequential designs. One approach follows the other, e.g., qualitative followed by quantitative. Concurrent designs. Both approaches are implemented simultaneously. Embedded designs. One method is embedded within the other to provide additional context. Sampling. May involve different sampling methods for each approach, e.g., random sampling for quantitative and purposeful sampling for qualitative. Data collection methods. Quantitative data. Collected through surveys or experiments. Qualitative data. Collected through interviews, focus groups, or observations. Data analysis. Integration of findings. Combining quantitative results with qualitative insights to provide a fuller understanding of the research question. Comparative analysis. Evaluating how qualitative findings support or contradict quantitative data. Interpretation of results. Understanding how the two sets of data inform each other and contribute to overall conclusions. Summary. Each research approach has distinct elements that guide the design and execution of studies. By understanding these elements, researchers can effectively choose and implement the appropriate methodology for their research questions. ChatGPT can make mistakes. Check important info.